this thing is going to put out a lot of power. And in the history of buying this product from these people, it's it's they they output a lot. All right, guys, we're on video three of installing it on the roof. We have the little one down, and you can see the big one back here in the back. And I'll give you a little idea here. The blades, I'll let Daniel pick the blades up so you can see. Now, this is the little Billy Badass. The reason we're taking it down is our property down in Nevada. We're going to haul it down there. It's proven itself to be so damn durable that we're going to haul it down there. So let's see here. Where's the tips? So I can show them the tips there. So it's about, uh, I don't know, foot and a half more in diameter and a lot more air, uh, a lot more air surface for these blades. So what we're working with is we're getting the, uh, and because this is, this is all I had the other one mounted with was a two inch coupling, standard steel coupling, EMT. They're, they're stout. They're designed to handle a lot of force, but putting this bigger one up there, we're going to go with this steel clamp and we're going to clamp it on the coupling because you don't want a fractured coupling. Now you can get these, these are called no hub coupling sleeves or locks, and you can get these. We're gonna put this one on there to prevent coupling split. So there we go. Looks like it fared well. Um, the condition of the blades after almost, uh, what, uh, 20 months, 21 months, 21 months in the air, and it turns, here hold that Daniel. It still turns absolutely without a problem. No problems whatsoever. Makes beautiful power. So this is that 500 watt you'll see below the video the links of. All of this I have the links to everything that we've installed and used. So this one here and this one here, uh, same company, proven dependability. Um, we have put up two of the 1000 watts and three of the 2000 watts. No complaints. One guy's got one up you now over two years. No problems with them. So this is where we're going when we use them. But this one is going down to the little mining camp because it's proven itself. So we're going to clean it up, put a heavy coat on it because that's way up in elevation. We want it to be coated better and beautiful. And if you wonder what is this, I actually, to keep moisture out, I packed grease in it because I didn't know if it was going to be any good. It's been fine. No problems. All right, let's go. We're going to get that one on the roof. All right, guys, up on the roof, and we have lots of sun. <laughs> um, we have the, uh, if you guys don't know, I got a lot of solar up here, but we're uh, putting it on the top. There's chaos in the background. That's a hell of a build. And uh, the other one is up here. So we're working on everything right there. Those are 150-watt panels. <laughs> And these are hundreds and those are 85s. And then the, on the back side down there at the ground level, I got another 700 watts. So I don't know what I got up here. About 3,000 something. So uh, we're working on getting this turbine up now and we're putting it together. Daniel's bringing materials up. So y'all stay tuned to it. We're gonna have her up pretty. And if y'all wanna see something really cool, let me grab these tools here. If y'all wanna see something real cool, get a close up of how I built my solar mounts. And so far, not a single problem whatsoever. Um, handled 100 mile an hour winds. This is using a lot of that hat metal. So um, hat metal, metal studs. Metal studs have a 25, 30 year life outdoors. And then using, I'm sure you'll recognize those things, okay? All right, let's get on this wind turbine. I'm going to put her up there. I can't film it while I'm doing it. Hey, guys, I got a little bit of wind, so I came on out here at the shop, and we're going to go take a look at the purple rain, and we're going to see what it's doing. Now, um, I'm hoping it'll stay because it's kind of a passing through but uh, I, I'm not guaranteed. The winds are kind of on and off. I'm going to turn a little light on here on the phone. Now, here we got the setup. We have the Billy Badass original. And if you're wondering what are those clamps for, let me make sure people understand, they're to a fan. This produces so much power, sometimes we have to do that. Have to, and I just clipped them onto that to pull power so when I run the fan. But same red wires running all the way up. So it's in its place, and I'll show you that outside here in just a second. And there is all the turbines set up as they are. Now, what we've got over here is we have the, I'm going to get all three of them into focus, hopefully. Try to get that in there. 
so you guys can see what it is. We have the one in the middle is the purple rain turbine. The one up top is the five blade silver one. And the one down below is the chaos turbine. So we're working with the fact we have a 13 mile an hour wind. I think it might be going to 14, not sure. But we have a 13 starting with, and I think gust might go to 14 or 15, hopefully, so we can get some good readings. And that shows you the power. That's the quality of these turbines. They actually build good turbines, and you will see why. But there you are. You're looking at 300 watts, 22 amps, and that's, that's just in a decent wind. And I'm going to show you outside here in just a second, and you can see the, uh, the temperature of the, uh, right now, the temperature, because it's only, it's only 60 degrees in the shop, but the winds just started recently, so it's a temperature uh, basically 87 degrees Fahrenheit of the rectifier on this one. This one over here is actually quite a bit warmer, a lot warmer. Uh, it's producing a lot more. So we are going to have to replace that with 150 amp capacity because I've seen this one and the Billy one hit 90 amps. Drastic, 1,100 watts. They blow your mind. Rated at 500, will hit 1,100 in a storm. Very well maintained too. So what we're doing with the uh, original Billy Badass Turbine is we're going to put it on our place down in Nevada. We have a place outside of Baker, a little mining area. And so I've taken it apart, and I have another little turbine that was down there. Now, it produced plenty of power, but we had, uh, we've had we only got eight 100-watt solar panels, and it, we get a lot of wind there. Uh, if you look it up in the maps, you'll see it, Baker, Nevada. Um, we're about seven miles out of it with the camp, so we're going to put that there. But out here is the turbine the the, uh, the purple turbine <laughs> let's get out here and take a look see and you can see me hear a little bit of wind there i don't know how well the mic works on this newer phone but there she blows right up there and there's there and then over here is the little turbine that we're going to be we we took it down because we're replacing it with the billy so it's been up there running in nevada for two or three months but way over there is the chaos turbine there is purple rain, and man, no vibration, clean as a whistle, beautiful output, and this thing here is still running just like normal. We're going to put some more bracing on the top of that because it's pretty heavy, and I do get some severe winds. But you guys, uh, y'all can go look at the links below. Y'all will see that I got my shop starting to clean up. I've got a gazebo built in a big garage there, and I've got me a new structure I'm building over the top. To connect the house to the shop but let's get a video on that one here look for that on the channel soon